All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are back with Oshinoko Season 2, Episode 1. Very much looking forward to this being back. Obviously, it was one of the kind of best of its season. Um, I can't even remember where it, when it came out. It was last year? 2023? But yeah, really just sensational start to the anime. Um, so I'm looking forward to this one as well. Um, from what I can remember, the only thing I can remember at the moment is uh, the... Uh, Akade, Kana, and Ruby, no not Ruby, Aqua, are um, enlisted in kind of like a, a play or like a, a movie, something like that now. Um, and uh, yeah, Ruby, no not Aqua, god yeah it's going to take me a while. Aqua was told that uh, potentially the person who I was seeing uh, kind of dating, um, and obviously he's looking for, you know, who his father basically um might be in this theater, theater troupe um so yeah that's why he's enlisted in this he's got the part i'm gonna see how it's gonna go this season so as always guys if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well and let's go into this reaction right now is this the theater play Damn, the, s the effects. I like the use of screens. Yeah, this is... Why is it so ravey all of a sudden? The hell? <laughs> the budget on this, holy shit, for a stage play? I can't tell who's who, because these are obviously... You know, the people in costumes, but... Like, three of the main characters are in this play, so... Who is who? <laughs> oh, this could be Aqua. Is that? I have no idea. Is that Aqua? I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. Tokyo Blade. Oh, okay. Straight in with the opening. I'm feeling the energy. Let's go. Bro, this is fire. Oh, it like opens like the stage play as well. Ooh, that was interesting. <laughs> Them going crazy in the crowd, the glow sticks. This open is crazy. It's so fucking cool. I can't remember who the who the studio was behind this. Was it studio? I'm, I'm feeling I'm feeling Studio Dogma. I feel like I think it was them. Yeah, they went crazy on this. Okay, so that's Aqua. Yeah, I in the crowd. Wow. They they go wild on the the deaf look <laughs> in the show. Oh, still getting freaking nightmares about seeing I dead back in the first season. Oh, so Akane plays the the white haired one. You kind of jealous. Meanwhile, Ruby. And Memcho's not in this either. What are Ruby and Memcho doing? Oh, nice. Yeah, the, I remember their, uh, their concert. It went great. Is Kana going to be able to continue idol work while she's on this play? Oh, yeah. They said they were going to like act as boyfriend and girlfriend or something like that. I can't remember. Yeah, okay. Just as just as long as you don't go out like your mom, Ruby. Jeez. Fifty million copies. That's not bad. It's not One Piece numbers, but uh, it's not bad. <laughs> it's wild that the creators like made a whole separate manga for them to perform in inside of his own, uh, their own manga. That's crazy. I only just noticed she's like really grown her hair out for this. Uh, Maybe for this role, or maybe she's just grown her hair out. I'm different. Yeah, he's just here for a purpose. 56, that's kind of old. Do we know it's this man? I guess he would have been, what, 40-ish at the time? 39, maybe? Which would have made him hella weird, considering I was, like, 16. I know that voice. Who's, whose voice is that? I feel like I know that voice as well. 
Is it not, not possible that this dude is the dude in question he should be looking at? It's hard to follow what it, he's saying at the moment. I'm looking at the big text. <laughs> Damn. He acted the fuck out of that, apparently. Is this supposed to be the main character in the play? Yeah, they're acting their asses off right now. Let's go. Kana was saying that she really wanted to be able to act after the last thing she performed in as well. <laughs> Look at them, they're both psycho. I love it though. They're going in. They're really locked into their role. Oh. Is that what he meant by dinner? Oh, I guess he was just been trying to be chill about it, I suppose. They're all motivated as hell. Yeah, Aqua's thinking about something else, not gonna lie. One month to go over the whole play. Okay. Oh, I guess it's full work days. Jeez. Yeah, he couldn't read it. <laughs> Me for real. And then Aqua. Not really, but he is all- <laughs> Yeah, giving off that stink aura. What's he thinking about at the moment? Yeah, exactly. Like, she needed- she wanted a part where she could actually shine. Damn. That was brutal. Yeah! <laughs> mean to your fake girlfriend here. Just a bit more intensity, okay. Maybe she's gonna embrace I to do this. But that feels too happy, doesn't it? Oh, okay, yeah, I guess. It, kind of, it does kind of feel like Akane is being left in the dust here because Kana's going off. Oh, okay. Yeah, so the, it is literally like a love triangle kind of thing going on, even in the play. So that's that's Kana's character and that's Aqua's character. Yeah, that is that is a point. She's like making the character that doesn't really partly exist in some cases. Damn, they really did fuck up her character. Jeez. I mean, they've got to greatly reduce the story, I suppose, to fit it into a play, but... Yahoo! Oh, the script writer, so... Akane's worst enemy. Relatively high degree. <laughs> yeah. Mm, makes sense. Is he gonna do it? Aqua's like, fuck it, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, you throw under the bus. Well, she's gotta do it now. Come on, be confident in what you're saying. Mm, so he did think about it. Okay. Yeah, that's what I said. Two hours? Are they fitting the whole manga into two hours? Yeah, it makes sense. Gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, somebody's gotta do it. Make the tough decisions. Yeah. The director's like, nah, nah, it, it, it is how it is. This is how it's gonna be. Oh, is the manga over? Oh, she's 22. Oh, this is the Sweet Today uh, author. <laughs> you fucked up my character. <laughs> That's so funny. 
Yeah, this introvert suddenly got to be around lively actors. <laughs> this must be really nice, seeing that it come to life in such a in such a better way than sweet today. This is nice. The author actually get getting to see a good representation of their work. Huh? What? 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 What are you? What are you doing? Oh boy, that's not a fun thing to ask. Just like a small part, please just say like a small part. The whole thing? Fuck! Right, so that was Oshinoko Season 2 Episode 1. Very good first episode back there, um, kind of a look into the inner workings of theatre and a stage play. Uh, it was very interesting. Um, obviously, Akane had, had some concerns about her character there, but the director and the script writer was like, this is how it's got to be. We've got to condense it down, and it makes it easier in this way. So kind of think about how your character kind of shows herself and uh, make what you want to say about the character easier to grasp for the audience, which definitely makes sense. The, the author, though, however, comes in and throws a spanner in the works here um, and decides the whole thing she wants to kind of revise. So that's going to be interesting to see, um, to see what problems she has with it. I thought I would initially, because she looked like she was really happy with what she was seeing, she was like, yeah, this is all good. I've already signed off on it. Boom. Boom, bam, bam. All good. But um, yeah, uh, I guess we'll see what's going to happen in the next episode or how she wants the whole thing revised, apparently. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my reaction today. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.